Occasionally, I'll get asked, who do you think are some of the more underrated players in the NBA? Those unsung heroes that aren't often recognized for their accomplishments and what they bring to the table because they're either overshadowed by a star player on their team or they aren't putting up flashy numbers or insane highlight real level plays. And there are quite a few players around the league that I consider to be underrated based on their overall production relative to their contract and general recognition they receive around the NBA. But one that stands out to me the most, and I'm finally glad to see him getting himself a nice bag after being in trade rumors for damn near two years now, and that's the Indiana Pacers' Miles Turner, a player who is having one of the best seasons of his career. A player who has always taken a back seat in terms of sacrificing his overall usage and shot attempts. A player that really does whatever he's asked to get the job done, knows his role, and does it well. And with the contract extension he just received from the Pacers to the tune of two years, $60 million, the Pacers went from being a team that was looking to ship out Turner to acquire more assets in an attempt to tank and rebuild to now building out their new core of Tyrese Halliburton, Benedict Matherin, and now Miles Turner, who are all young and continuing to get better. And while some might think giving Miles Turner this contract extension was an overpay, especially considering they renegotiated his current salary to the tune of an additional $17.1 million, the most ever renegotiated in NBA history, despite this may look like an overpay. This is actually good value of a signing for Miles Turner, and I'll explain why in this video. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe as this is a newly created channel and it would mean a great deal to me to help growing the channel. Currently about 86% of you watching are not subscribed. Let's see if we can get this thing to 10,000 by the All-Star break and in return I'll be providing more NBA content like this all season long. Now, Miles Turner was a very highly touted prospect coming out of high school. He was the number six recruit in the 2014 class heading into college, played his only season of college ball at Texas and declared for the NBA draft after his freshman season. And despite not being that high up on most mock draft boards in the 2015 draft relative to those who were recruited at the same level he was coming out of high school, players like Carl Anthony Towns, Jaleel Okafor, Emmanuel Moutier, and Stanley Johnson, yes, all those guys were ranked ahead of Miles Turner in the 2014 high school class. And there was some skepticism around Turner and his overall offensive game coming into the league and whether he would be able to adapt in being a better outside shooter and improving upon his footwork in the paint. As such, he didn't go top 10 in the 2015 draft, but still a lottery pick getting selected 11th overall by the Pacers. And if you actually look back at that draft class and how weak that class ended up becoming overall, there was a world in a redraft where Miles Turner would have been selected third or fourth overall when you look at how he stacked up relative to the rest of his class. But I digress, all of that is to say, really, since entering the league, Miles Turner has been overlooked in terms of his value that he brings to the court. Again, no one is saying he's a star level player, no one's saying he's a number one option on a contending team, but when you look at Miles Turner, and what he's been able to do over the course of his career and improve so many facets of his game that were once considered to be a big area of weakness for him, Consider this for a moment. When Turner entered the league back in 2015, the league was already transitioning into becoming a heavy three-point shooting league, predicated on pace and space. Turner, never known for his three-point shooting, both in high school and college, went from putting up 0.2 three-point attempts per game in his rookie season, shooting it at 21%, to slowly but surely increasing his overall three-point shooting output. In his sophomore season, 35% on 1.4 attempts per game. The following year, 36% on 2.4 attempts per game, to currently, shooting 39%, a career best, on four attempts per game. The man has legitimately become enough of a threat from outside that teams now have to respect when he's out on the perimeter, not something that could have been said in the beginning of his career, which severely impacted the Pacers' overall floor spacing as a team. Three-point shooting aside, Miles Turner this season is having by far and away his most efficient offensive season of his career, shooting 54% from the floor on the highest volume of his career on 11.6 attempts per game and getting to the free throw line the most he's ever had. He's also averaging the most rebounds in his career at near eight per game, which has always been a knock on Turner's game for being a center who couldn't crash the boards like other top bigs in the NBA. Turner who has always been a net negative on the offensive end from a box plus minus perspective, for the first time in his career, is a net positive on offense, currently at 1.5 in offensive box plus minus and an overall 2.3 box plus minus, which is the highest, again, of his career. Also boasting the highest PER at 19.9. And then of course, we already know Turner is one of the best shot blockers in the league, Two-time league-leading shot blocker is so crafty in his ability to time his leaping when getting post up or 
using his lateral quickness to time guard slash into the basket and getting to the hoop for a layup even when he does get beat off the dribble he still finds a way to reject the shot from behind and while yes turner isn't the best perimeter defender it's part of the reason why he still has never been selected to an all defensive team he's still one of the best rim protectors in the game and by now improving his overall offense to the point where he has become a legitimate threat on that end of the floor has made him one of the better two-way players in the nba now, for his contract extension, some say it's an overpay. When you're giving a man like Miles Turner who isn't an all-star and probably doesn't even have a ceiling to become an all-star, you're paying him $30 million a year for the next two years. While this might seem like an overpay, you have to factor in, one, the NBA salary cap is increasing dramatically going into next season, so much so to the point that $30 million a year, while yes, is still a lot, is not an overpay for a high-level role player who can play on both ends of the floor and has great on-court, off-court numbers. Second, Miles Turner, is in the peak of his prime at only 26 years of age, has continued to get better with every passing season. It's not like this is a four or five year contract where you run the risk of his game declining towards the end of his contract as he heads into his 30s. No, he's gonna be 28 when this current extension expires. Well, 29 by the end of the 24, 25 season. And then finally, it's not an overpay when you consider what the Pacers have going for them as a team and for their future. Yes, the Pacers have struggled more recently, losing nine of their last 10. They've fallen all the way to 11th in the East, but a huge part of that is due to injuries, most notably to Tyrese Halliburton, who is their best player. With Halliburton healthy, this is a young and scrappy team that had one of the best offensive ratings in the league, one of the better three-point shooting teams in the NBA, and they were sitting fifth in a very stacked and competitive Eastern Conference before Tyrese Halliburton got injured. And Miles Turner was a key component of that success. And given the potential and rise of Benedict Mathurin, quickly becoming one of the best rookies in the league, playing with a ton of confidence and looking to be a future star in the making, Halliburton likewise a future star in the league only being in his third season, the Pacers, rather than pivoting to simply tanking and acquiring draft capital, have found a core they can work with for the future, which includes Miles Turner being a part of that core and fitting their overall timeline. If they don't extend Turner, and let him walk in free agency, it sets them back regardless of the rise of Halliburton and Matherin. Because without Turner being a key component of their offense, you're not going to see these young players excel in the way that they have been. You need a heavy rim protector, a big who can space the floor that enables your ability to slash the basket and be open for a kick out if needed. The other piece to this, let's say they are still in fact looking to trade Miles Turner, which I think we can say is unlikely at this point given they just offered him an extension and how important he is to the overall core of that roster. But in the event, they were still looking to trade him. Trading him now, while he's still locked up for the next two and a half seasons, rather than a half year rental on an expiring contract, makes him much more attractive in a trade package, knowing for the team receiving him in a trade, that you don't have to run the risk on moving assets to get him all but to lose him in free agency because you couldn't reach a deal on an extension. Now, yes, any team trading for him is now taking on a much bigger contract. You're locked into Turner through 2025 and he's making a sizable salary. But given his value, his age, his overall production, and the fact that he continues to improve with every passing season, and I think what gets talked about the least when it comes to Turner and what makes him such an underrated player is that he hustles, plays with energy, is a great team player, always looking to do what the team needs to win, not at all a selfish player, despite the fact that his improved offensive game, he could be more selfish if he wanted to. And as I mentioned, knows his role, does whatever is asked from the coaching staff and gets the job done. It's why Miles Turner, who went from one of the most hyped prospects coming out of high school to a quiet, unsung hero and underrated player in the NBA. Let me know if you agree on whether you think Miles Turner was worth that contract extension. Let me know in the comments and as always, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.